what is going on guys so today we're going to start ripping the center console apart to get the automatic shifter out all right so we won't need a lot of tools to remove the center console shift assembly it's a lot of clips and a wire plugins and you can basically get those off with your fingers but we will need a couple we'll need an 18 millimeter wrench a flathead screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver and a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter on it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a quarter inch with a 10, it could be a 3 8. The 10 millimeter bolts that we're taking off aren't really that hard to get to, so you just need something to get them off. So this is going to be fun. BMW has generously put a handful of screws in basically impossible to get to places behind a movable object, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But first we got to get the shift knob off. Most of them do require an engine back to lift them out because they are so freaking on there. But basically, we're just going to pull on it until it pops out. And uh, hopefully, you don't bash yourself in the face with it because these things are freaking on there. There it is. Oh. Yeah, so those things around there, you really just got to pull freaking hard to get that off. So now we're going to get this guy up. I'm just going to pop him up. Get a little flathead under there and just sort of wiggle him up. There we go. He'll slide off. Keep in mind he is connected on the lights and the actual switch down there. So these guys are basically just going to pop off. There we go. And those guys can just sort of hang out. So now from here we can start working on the lights, hazard switches, all that good stuff. So if you just sort of reach under here, pop those guys up. They will come right out, flip it over, we can start popping the wires for these things off. And as for this guy, we're going to slide that forward, pop that up and it will come right out. And these guys can just sort of hang out for now. We'll just get the rest of them out. Hazard lights. Let me get a little bit of pry action going on in here on this guy to get that connector out. Very nice. Passenger side windows come up. Same deal. Plug and unplug. And you don't really have to worry about these guys uh, getting them back in. As you can tell, the yellow is going to go with the yellow and the white is going to go with the white. That sort of thing. So now we got to get our door lock switch. I'm going to sort of unplug him inside there. That wire doesn't have a lot of slack. Then we can shove all those connectors down in there. Because we are taking this entire panel off right here, we are going to have to pull these guys out. So there's actually a little hole in underneath right in here. I can stick my finger up in there. And so I'm going to go behind the computer and just sort of pop it out. Wiggle that guy up. There we go. And on the back here, we have this connector. This little connector, we're going to push that down and then slide the little bracket over it down and then this guy is just going to lift out. Those wires can sort of hang out in there for now and then we can start working on these guys. So this guy is just going to pop up and out with a little bit of effort. Alright so underneath we have all of our good stuff so I'm just going to disconnect all of them while it's down here. Pop the light out. That connection comes out. All right, so for these little yellow guys here, there's one here and one back there as well. On the sides of this here, you'll notice that they can kind of push in. We're going to push in on the sides and wiggle that guy out. And that guy's going to come out. And the same on the one in the back over here. That guy's going to wiggle out. The blue one's got the same deal going on. Wiggle that out. And I have this uh, aftermarket um, fan switch for the electrical fan. I gotta get that guy out. Alright, once this guy is loose, we're just gonna set him off to the side there. And so now we've freed up a lot of room to start working on this actual plastic part to get these things out of here. So there are a handful of screws all around here that do need to come out to get this guy out. Alright, so let's slow down for a second and we're gonna talk a little bit about this whole thing. So ignore the fact that this part is off and that the manual transmission is in because I wanted to talk to you guys about taking this thing off real quick. Now on mine a lot of these plastic tabs 
were broken because the previous owner went in here, wired this fan switch, ran it all the way through. So they didn't take this off properly, and as a result, a lot of this got broken. So in the next part of me taking this off, a lot of these screws didn't need to come out. So it's a lot more simple than it really should be because you should have to take this section, move it back a little bit to get to some of these front screws. Now the screws here, here, and up here can be fairly easily accessed. The ones on the side back here are a little bit of a pain to get to. I can't really help you with that. But I didn't unscrew these to get this guy out because they were already broken. Now that being said, I do not recommend that you go and break these to get it off easier. So I didn't include this in the next part in the rest of the video. Right now we're going to go over moving this whole center console section back so you guys can get to these two screws so you don't have to break off the tabs. You see what I mean? So we're going to pause for a second, ignore the fact that this piece is already off, ignore all of this noise. Our focus is moved on to this center section here, so we're going to get this out of here so you guys can take this trim piece off properly. So to start, if we move the hazard switch, or the little connector for it, there's a screw right here. So this guy needs to come out, he holds him into position. Now moving on to the back, so this little cigarette ashtray has some screws underneath it that we do need to get off to get to the main screw that holds this guy in. If you have an armrest, I will leave a link to a website or a thread on how to remove that because I don't have one here. I can't really show you guys how to take it off. So if you guys have an armrest, it's going to be a little bit different for you. Check the description. I have a link to that in there. But for the rest of us who don't have one, we're going to pull this ashtray up and out. There's a screw here and a screw here that needs to come out. Now these guys are a little bit tricky because they don't screw into anything. They screw into a little plastic ring that will expand as the screw goes in. If you pull up on the piece, on this plastic piece right here, it will sort of help get those screws all the way out. And it's a little bit of a trick. It took me a couple minutes to do this guy the first time, so just know I got caught up on him too if you do. And then this whole plastic piece is going to come up and out. So now from here, that is the last screw that holds this guy in. Now keep in mind that there is a bunch of electrical connections. There's a little light inside uh, the ashtray in the center. That is still connected, so we're not going to be able to pull this guy all the way off, but we can slide him back enough to get the rest of our bolts off. So once he is out, this center section can slide back like that. And now you should have enough room to be able to get at your screws from underneath when that guy is on there. See that? Alright, continuing on. I'm letting you know now that this is going to be kind of a pain to get on camera, but we have the inner trim here up by the uh, Havoc unit. Behind this little metal brace, right over here to the side, there is a screw that needs to come out to get this guy out. And even more awesomely, there's also one on the other side by the steering wheel underneath this big ass metal hunk of garbage. So like down in here, I have no idea how I'm gonna get that out. I will let you guys know what my plan of attack was for that, because that's gonna be a pain. Oh yeah. All right, there it is. All right, so what I ended up doing when I had that I stuck a flathead in the side here and sort of pried it out and that gave me enough room to get a screwdriver in there and undo that guy. That was a freaking pain. Just letting you guys know. So there are also two screws up here but these guys were already broken so they just sort of came out. That was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, there's screws on there too. Great. So for those of you guys who want to know, there are two screws down here. There are two screws right here and here. There are two up here and one there. One there. Now, I'm pretty sure that this guy had this thing off before to wire this whole mess. So, so like these bottom two down here, they were already super loose. I didn't break any of these. They were already just messed. I might have broken a couple of them, I won't lie. All right, so from here, this is our connector that we are gonna be messing with for the wiring. So we're gonna pop this guy out. All right, so this fun little harness is where all of the magic for our wiring is gonna happen. Basically here we're going to be jumping pins to get the reverse lights to work, to get the clutch switch wired in, to get the car to start, all of that good stuff. We have a couple of 10 millimeter bolts that we need to get out. So there's one right here, one right here, and then one right next to the actual shift cable right here that hold this thing into position. So we're going to crack those guys loose. 
So now this guy should be loose. Oh, I don't need that. Should be loose. So right up on the front of the shifter here, there's another 10 millimeter right here that holds a cable that goes to the uh, steering column lock. We need to bust that guy out. Pull this off. Then the wire should come up. So basically I just pulled this guy off from its little uh, clip down there, it should come off. All right, and last but not least, we have an 18 millimeter nut holding the actual cable shift linkage on. So we're just gonna need to bust that guy loose. That guy's loose, we're gonna pull this up, and we're just gonna feed the cable from underneath. There we go, so now the whole shifter cable is out. Alright, so the last thing we need to disconnect is this little motor thing right here. And if you pull on this little cord, it's got a little connector down there. So we're going to grab the connector, we're going to pinch the sides, and we're going to pop that guy out. Pinch the sides, pull that off. There we go. Now this whole shifter will come out. Alright, once that is out, the last thing to do is to pick up this little rubber boot on the inside here. Get that out of here. There we go. And now we can see the ground. All right, that is it. Our center console is out and we are ready for a stick shift. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I will see you guys later.